Good morning, friends. Cowboy camp was a success. I slept really well. I had to stay up late and get caught up on a bunch of shit. But I did sleep well once I finally made it to bed. And I woke up this morning. Fireball and Chap were already completely packed up. They had already eaten. And I, I mean, I woke up at 6.15, so 10 minutes later than usual. But they were... They were like up and ready to go super early. So fireball's long gone. Chap just left. Uh, I'm about packed up, but I'm gonna have to fucking dig a hole somewhere and there's not that many good spots around here. So just gonna have to do it out in the open and pray that no one walks by. A little chilly this morning. I've got the cosmic pants on. I'm gonna rock them for the day if I need to. We're gonna be gaining elevation. Uh, throughout this morning and it won't be long till we are above 10,000 feet there's a campsite that's 15 point something from here that's up above 10,000 feet there's another one that is at like nine eight or nine thousand and that's at 18 point some miles so I think we're gonna shoot for one of those two fireball is pretty set on going to the farther one because she doesn't want to sleep above 10k which is fine it makes more sense It's been a beautiful morning so far. It's starting to warm up a little bit. I took my senshi off. Still got the leggings on, but I don't know if they're gonna stay on for much longer. Feeling pretty much back to normal today. Definitely gonna say it was dehydration yesterday that was making me feel like shit. I'm happy to be back to normal. Well, normal, yeah, I'm pretty fucking far from normal, but. <laughs> Currently carrying the bear can in my pack. Chap and I both decided to try that today. So far it's carrying much better. I just, uh, I have most of my food in the bear can. I stuffed it in vertically and then packed a bunch of shit around it to keep it from, you know, shifting around in the pack. And then all the food for today, I have in a Ziploc, you know, on the very top. So I don't know, it's kind of nice. We're about three miles away from that bridge with all the swallows that I was talking about. I'll probably stop there for water and uh, we'll make that the first little break spot this morning. How cool is that? Another well, nest. Stop back there at the bridge, grab some water, had a Snickers bar, and just took a little break. I'm just getting going again. And not sure where we're planning to meet up for lunch, so I'm just gonna hike until I find someone. I thought I saw a chap leaving the bridge as I was coming down to it. Um, so he's probably like 20 minutes or so ahead of me, it seems. We're at like just below 8,000 feet of elevation right now. And we're about to start this climb. I think we got damn near 2,500 feet of uh, elevation to gain here in this climb. water everywhere already it's freaking awesome i haven't carried more than a liter today i don't think
starting to see some white shit. First glimpse of it. We're almost up to the high point for the day. I'm actually cruising today. We're like 12 and a half in and it's noon. It's like exactly noon. <sighs> There's a campsite about a half mile from here, which is at the high point for the day. And that's where I'm gonna stop for lunch. I'm not sure. I haven't seen Chap or Fireball today. Uh, so I don't know if they'll be there or not, but that's where I'm stopping because I am fucking hungry. <coughs> All right, y'all, I had my lunch. Sat in this little spot here. Actually, Chap just left. Um, I was gonna take a break back at this. There's a campsite right back there. And that's where I was gonna stop for my lunch break. And then uh, right before I threw my trucking poles down, I saw his head sitting there. So, uh, had lunch, but neither of us have seen Fireball. We only have like five more miles to the place that we plan to camp. So I don't know if we're gonna try to squeeze a few more out, you know, depending on how things continue, but we're pretty much at the top of this mountain. And uh, we're hitting little patches of snow, but we, it hasn't been anything significant yet. Comments make it sound like people were using spikes up ahead recently, so I don't, I don't know. We'll just have to see how it is, if it really slows us down or whatever, but so far so good. Where we're sitting right now, we are above 10,000 feet. I don't know what it is exactly, but this is definitely the highest that I've ever been. Physically, the highest. Chemically and mentally, yeah, probably been higher. <laughs> but anyway, I guess we'll continue on and just see if Fireball is waiting for us at where we were supposed to camp. Okay, stopped it. This little stream here to grab water for the night. We are very close to the campsite that we're supposed to meet Fireball at, and we're hoping that she's there. Uh, we haven't heard anything, but we haven't seen her all day, so a little worried. We're hoping that she, uh, you know, didn't decide to pull off and get off trail, but, um, you know, we figured we would have heard something by now getting pretty late so if we stay up here it would be like 18 point something for the day but it's still pretty early it's like I don't have my it's like three o'clock or something like that so um, there's this campsite right up here and then there's two or three more and I think the last one before the next climb is like 4.9 from here so 4.9 would be the max that we would do I'm happy that I'm not really feeling, uh, you know, many symptoms from the elevation. That's something that I think I've said that I've been pretty worried about. But I haven't noticed anything too much. I could definitely tell with my breathing on the climb earlier today. But since we've been doing more cruisy stuff, it hasn't been too bad. So we're planning to try to sleep down a little lower. So sleep at like 9,000. I think the highest that we hit today was like 10.5 or something like that. And then tomorrow we're back up to like 11. Anyway, I chugged a bunch of water, carrying three liters for camp tonight. Let's get a move on. Well, we got to the campsite that Fireball was aiming for and she was nowhere to be found. So I did message her on the Garmin. Haven't heard back yet, but we are, we had hit a really flat spot. So we're gonna push to the next campsite. Take another one and a half, two miles or something like that. We're thinking that hopefully she just got to the one back there very early and decided to go to this next one because it's a little 
lower in elevation. But yeah, we don't we don't really know. Just hoping everything's all right. Hello. Is that you? As you can probably see up ahead, we found fireball. We're crossing over a bridge at the last water source and we heard her yell from behind a couple trees. She was with a big group of hikers. She said she had been there for a couple hours, ate her dinner. She never got my Garmin message. I still don't think she has. So I guess she just cruised today and then got to the original campsite really early and decided to push a little further before she waited for us. And I think she was scared to Garmin message us because last time chap yelled at her. But anyway, things are all good. We are going an extra half mile to this next campsite. Hopefully it's not all full. Seems to be a lot of people right around us. But today has been beautiful, beautiful day. A lot of this kind of stuff. Not in the direct sun. All right, everybody, we're at camp. I got my tent all set up. Uh, the fucking mosquitoes were swarming really bad, so I jumped in here quick. They're not coming in the tent at the moment, but out there it was really bad. But my freaking feet are destroyed. I haven't been using sock liners. I thought I could get away with it, but that ripped open today. And both these are taped up because they were ripped open as well. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll toughen up after they blister the first round here, but if not, I'm gonna have to get my liners back. It's freaking tenting everywhere around here, so we didn't have a problem finding a spot anywhere. Uh, it's real quiet, there's no wind, and we actually have a little creek running right behind us as well, so it's a nice spot. I'll show you that in the morning. But I'm gonna clean myself a little bit and then um, get dinner going. I don't think this camera's gonna pick up the swarm of mosquitoes out there, but they won't leave me alone. <laughs> So I'm just huddled down in here. I'm not getting out of this tent or doing anything until these bugs go away. Had a really good day today. We did uh, right around 20 miles exactly. Tomorrow I think we're going to shoot for about the same. That'll put us close to Cottonwood Pass, which is, which is where we need to go to get into Lone Pine and get a resupply. So... Hopefully that all works out. Elevation doesn't look too bad tomorrow. <clears throat> we go up higher, but um, just the overall day, the elevation change doesn't seem to be as bad. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever slept at an elevation this high, so we'll see how that goes. Other than that, I don't have a whole lot more for you today. I'm just going to try to get to bed early, and I just hope that tomorrow is just as good as today was. I hope you all have a great night. Thank you for watching. I love you, Shania Twain. Good morning, everybody. Just got my teethies brushed. Took a massive shit that I held all night. And now I gotta eat my brekkie. Um, started to feel a little weird last night like right before bed i was laying here doing my editing and um my heart rate was like going super fast and like i couldn't keep my eyes open like i was exhausted but i wasn't tired all day so it was just really strange like i literally i i just like put my phone down next to me and just like went to sleep i woke up like three hours later at like 11 p.m and uh continued on with my editing and got everything done and I felt fine after that but at first just laying here trying to go to sleep felt a little weird we're I mean we're sleeping I don't know 9500 or something like that which I've never slept that high
So who knows, but feeling okay now. We are shooting for 20 miles today to try to get close to Cottonwood Pass. Not sure if we're gonna hit much more snow. I know we're gonna get up to like above 11,000 feet today. Should be a great day. A lot of jets coming through. I've seen a bunch of comments on Far Out about that. I think maybe if they come through again, we'll get a better view of them up here. About three quarters of the way up this climb. We're at about 10 2. I'll tell you what, my cardio is going to be supreme when I get done this trail. <laughs> Between the long mile days, the quicker pace, and this elevation shit. Might have to start running or something. <laughs> Not much of a runner, but uh, I don't want this to go to waste. <laughs> it's hard to see, but there's a peak way out like there. I believe that's Mount Whitney. And we'll be climbing that bitch pretty soon. Oh, we're pretty much at the peak of this one. Crazy view. I hope the camera's picking this up. Alright, as we make our way down this mountain, I've got a couple special shout outs I gotta give. They would be for Daniel Outdoors, Kim P, Mark O, and Kyle J. You guys all hooked me the fuck up. Thank you so much for being along for this ride. Thank you for the support. It's such a huge uh, morale booster, it really is. This shit's a lot of work. I know I've said that multiple times and I'm not trying to sound like I'm bitching about it because I can always stop this YouTube thing whenever I want, but it is a lot of work. I know it's worth it in the end. And you guys who follow along are a huge reason that I continue to do it. So I appreciate you so much. Have a great day. Three of us just stopped for lunch, longer lunch than we had planned, but had a lot of things to talk about for the next couple days. Making our way up here, about a mile and a half to a water source. That's where we'll get our water for the rest of the day. We're like eight and a half miles from the junction where we can um, go to Cottonwood Pass. And then it would be three miles from that junction to Cottonwood Pass. So we're not gonna do all that today, but we're gonna at least try to get to the junction and then camp. That way we have a short three miles to Cottonwood Pass where we can hopefully get a ride to Lone Pine. And actually, I think we may have a ride. As long as we're there by 9.30, there's a gentleman who's getting off trail and he is, he'll have a car. So he said he could give us a ride. Still haven't hit any really snowy patches yet. Some of our far out comments are out of date. Um, so we don't really know how much has melted in the last week or however long, but we haven't hit much snow. We know it's coming and likely coming later on today, but hopefully it's 
just kind of patchy and nothing too crazy. Shit's getting real. It's hard to it's hard to believe that just in a few days we'll be climbing Whitney and then doing Forester Pass and all the other shit right after that. It's like we're about to really, really get into this. <laughs> Been a beautiful afternoon going through the trees. Uh, didn't hit a whole lot of snow, a couple of little patchy areas, but nothing that we needed to put spikes on for. We're at above, we're above 11,000 feet right now. And um, I think we're probably gonna end up having to camp up here. I mean, even the the junction for Cottonwood Pass or whatever is still above 11,000, I believe. So there's a tent site in like 0.9. We might stop there or we might just uh, keep going. All right, party people, we are at camp for the night. We gonna do the cowboy camp thing. You wanna see the, sing the Kid Rock song tonight? <laughs> Kid Rock song. I wanna be a cowboy, baby. All right, that was much better than I was gonna give. <laughs> I'm getting sick of singing that fucking song. I'm also getting sick of all the I love yous. So tell me down below if you're cool with me not saying that shit anymore because I'm so sick of trying to think of someone. I'm not cool with it. I don't care who you love ever. Yeah, who do you love? <laughs> tonight? All right, I'll, I'll do Tracy Chapman tonight. That's a good one. Now I don't have to do it later. Woohoo! Oh, anyway. We got quite the view from this campsite as well. There's a couple other people here trying to dry this tent out. It's still wet from this morning. But this leaves us with a very short day to Cottonwood Pass tomorrow. Well, that's gonna be about it for me for the night. Teefees are clean, I'm all fed. I ate a shit ton of food. Um, and I still have extra left over. We planned on doing this stretch in four days and we've done it in two and a half days. <laughs> so we're talking about this next resupply that we have to grab tomorrow. We're gonna to have to carry it for like eight days because like Mount Whitney is a full day and it's just like a long stretch, so. It's gonna be it's gonna be tricky. Definitely gonna be hungry for the next week after today. Um, but we'll worry about that tomorrow. I'm gonna to try to get some sleep and uh, just a few miles of walking tomorrow. It's gonna to be mostly uh, Lone Pine because we have to at least hang out and get all of our stuff charged and get our chores done. We're not planning to stay there, like I said, but. <clears throat> probably going to be there for most of the day so i will see y'all in the morning good fucking night